So in this video, I just wanted to talk about some of the mistakes that we made when bringing uh, our other cats into the home. We really had no clue how to introduce cats to one another, and I think this was the biggest problem. Uh, in, in some of the future lectures, I'm actually going to recommend a book to you that's really, really good about talking about some of the steps that you can take. But ideally, um, what you want to do is kind of bring your cat into a bedroom that's secluded from the other cats and just kind of allow them to freely see the environment. And then over time, you actually want to swap the cats without them seeing each other or sniffing or any interaction and allow them to kind of feel out the areas and the zones that these cats have been in. Um, that's kind of one of the base things that uh, it talks about doing initially when bringing cats into the home and not just kind of plopping the, you know, this new cat right into the other cat's zone because cats are obviously very territorial and it just really showed when we tried to do this. I mean, we initially had Sookie in a bedroom for a little while and then eventually just sort of let her run free and um, essentially what ended up happening was Sookie would chase after Maya just bap 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 you know hitting her really fast with her paws and just getting really aggressive and the this kind of screeches and uh, cries that both of them were having were just awful you know hearing them fight so he'd immediately be yelling and breaking them apart and you know it just really didn't work out so well so what I wish I had done was, uh, there's a book that I'm going to recommend to you in one of the future lectures by um, Pam Johnson Bennett, and it kind of focuses on the idea of uh, how to get cats to interact a little bit better before introducing them to one another. So what I highly recommend is going through this entire course, obviously, um, if you've been considering, you know, introducing a new cat into your home, that'll be good to read. If you already have an issue like we did for a year where we couldn't even have our cats, you know, in the same room as one another, I think um, these future lectures are really going to help you out a lot. And, you know, I, I really hope that uh, I can help you kind of guide you in some direction of how you can get your cats to get along a little bit better.